Hello Aquarius, welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about the energies between you and the person you are thinking about or connecting with at this time. What are you thinking about each other? What's going on in your connection? We'll be going over all of that. Keep in mind that this reading is general, so it will not resonate for every Aquarius watching, so keep that in mind as you watch the reading. So let's jump right in for Aquarius. Messages, guidance, please, for Aquarius. What do we need to know regarding love for Aquarius? Spirit, tell us about the connection between Aquarius and the person that they are thinking about or connecting with at this time. What's going on in this connection at this time? What's going on for Aquarius and this other person? Okay, we have the chariot with the nine of wands reverse. Cancer energy with the chariot. One, oh, I got two more. The emperor, Aries energy and the eight of swords. Okay, so, <clears throat> excuse me. I don't know where my voice went all of a sudden. Could be dealing with an Aries or a Cancer <clears throat> or someone with Aries or Cancer in their chart does not have to be. Um, I'm so sorry about my, the throat clearing. I cannot get my voice back for some reason. Instantly, when I saw this Eight of Swords and this Nine of Wands reverse, I thought that someone uh, in this connection is feeling very stuck and ready to give up. <clears throat> now, I don't know if this is like in your connection or something that's affecting them outside of the connection that they're bringing to the connection with you, right? Some sort of frustration. But I feel like someone wants to take charge of this situation um, or they're probably thinking about a departure of some sort, uh, a move that they're wanting to make. We'll clarify and see. Tell me more about Aquarius. Tell me about Aquarius and the energies they're bringing to this connection. Tell me about Aquarius and the energies bringing to this connection. We have the High Priestess. What else? What else for Aquarius? What else? Oh my gosh, I keep getting a bunch of cards. Justice Reverse and Six of Wands. Libra energy there with Justice Reverse. Tell me about the person they are thinking about dealing with at this time. The person Aquarius is thinking about dealing with at this time. What do we need to know? What do we need to know for Aquarius? Two of Wands. I'm just going to put down the energies and then we'll get to clarifying. What else can you tell me about this other person? Knight of Pentacles, Reverse, and Two of Swords. Why not get another one? So your person has some sort of decision to make. There could also be feeling a bit blocked as well because the Two of Swords is here. Knight of Pentacles, Reverse is telling me there's obstacles in the way, slowing someone down potentially here. Um, justice reverse on your end. Something doesn't feel fair, right, or balanced. At least I feel this is what you're thinking about when you think about this person or this connection. Something's just not right. And the high priestess is probably something to do with uh, secrets or things being kept from you or hidden from you. Or perhaps your intuition is telling you that something's just not quite right. Um, now, I still, I don't know. I get the sense that the for the Aquarius that I am talking to because right not every reading will resonate but the Aquarius that I am talking to has a situation <laughs> or a connection with someone where they're thinking that things cannot continue as they are for whatever reason we'll see if we can get some insight um, spirit give us some energies please what's going on in this connection between Aquarius and their person what's going on and this can okay we have faith what can you tell us about this connection between Aquarius and this other person what do we need to know about the energies in this connection parting ways separation divide heartbreak united cooperation and harmony one more what's going on in this connection between Aquarius and this other person hope dreams and longing so i feel like someone has faith or hope obviously they're both here um that 
a separation might be resolved, fixed, dealt with, that something will get worked out. But that takes two, two people to want that. Someone's keeping the faith, the hope alive. Despite the fact that I think there's not, uh, it's like they're looking for, hoping for a sign that things, there's moving forward here. So let's, let's clarify. Let's see if we can get a little bit more insight into what exactly happened in this connection. Can I get some clarity, please? Okay. Can I get some clarity, please, for Aquarius? Let me move this over because I feel like I don't have enough room. Let's see what's going on in this connection, Aquarius. What's what is going on for Aquarius? Well, let's find out what this cherry is about first, because I, I can't stop looking at it. I think it's very important. Why is the chariot here? What can you tell us about the chariot? What's this chariot about? Five of Swords. Why is the chariot? here and there's the hope the star there you are Aquarius and then the hermit okay I feel like this cherry is about moving past something healing a conflict this could be you this could be your person feeling this way someone wants to heal something that was unfair that you know whatever deception or conflict there existed someone has hope or faith that they'll be able to there will be a turnaround and moving past this. Why is the nine of wands reverse? Why is the nine of wands reverse? Six of wands. Okay, I feel like this might be you hoping for success here. Because you have the six of wands. And then the nine of swords, worried about success. Ace of wands at the bottom of the deck, worried if this new beginning will take place, if this is possible. Now the Nine of Wands reverse is typically a card about someone that's no longer defensive, no longer dealing with a tough situation. Um, their guard is down. Um, they've overcome uh, feelings of paranoia, defiance, you know. So I feel like this is someone hoping that they're able to get through to someone. Now why the Eight of Swords? So what's this Eight of Swords about? Why is the Eight of Swords here? Page of Wands. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Why is the Eight of Swords here? Why is the Eight of Swords here? Ace of Wands and the Three of Wands. So I feel like someone's hoping for a new beginning, but there's there's no, something that's not happening here with the Eight of Swords. There's I, I almost get the sense that fear could be holding someone back with the Three of Wands and the Eight of Swords. Or perhaps someone is just stuck in a situation they can't see a way out of. There's a Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles is reversed on your person's end. Tell me about the Emperor. What can you tell me about the Emperor? Why is the Emperor here? Why is the Emperor here? Ten of Pentacles. The Emperor is a masculine energy. Someone that takes charge. Typically they're older. They're very decisive. Talking about the Emperor. Page of Cups and then the Ten of Pentacles and then we have the Tower. Interesting. Now Page of Cups could be somebody apologizing or wanting to offer a cup of love that has long-term potential with the Ten of Pentacles here. There's something that I'm missing. <laughs> it's just not showing up in the cards right now. I feel like the message should be simple. But I, I sense there's more to this. Um, parting ways is here, which tells me there's already been a separation, a divide, um, heartbreak because of a separation. And I feel like someone's hoping to resolve this. I just can't, I, I feel like the separation is, is not the only problem. Because you feel something is unfair, unbalanced. And your person over here has like decisions to make, tough decisions to make. Now, this energy could be flipped, right? If this is, you know, you have you on one side, your person on the other, but you can flip the energies. But to make this reading simple, um, this is you for me. Um, but I feel like your person's having a choice to make here. 
and you're hoping for success despite the fact that maybe you haven't heard anything from them or uh, things aren't really do like things are just not balanced here. So let's see what this justice reverse is about. Why is justice reverse? Yeah, five of wands. There's some sort of conflict here. Tell me about the justice card reverse. The lovers, Gemini energy. And then there's the chariot, cancer energy. Someone could have left this connection because of a fight or left, um, left uh, a partnership because of a lot of fights. Does not necessarily have to be your connection with you. But this cherry, again, I feel like this cherry is very important. And the eight of cups after, I mean, come on. This is a clear departure. But on your end, it's not fair. It's not right, the fact that this happened. Tell me about the high priestess. Why is the high priestess here? Why is the High Priestess here? Ace of Swords, Clarity, Truth, Communication. I mean, well, the High Priestess. The High Priestess and the Queen of Pentacles. So you don't have all the information. Yeah, Two of Swords. Either you're waiting for this person to make a decision or you're waiting for communication or clarity regarding this situation that hasn't arrived. I don't think you have it yet. I think you're hoping for a good outcome, despite the fact that right now it doesn't seem to be headed in that direction, and I'm not sure why. What's this? Yeah, Seven of Pentacles. You're worried about the outcome of something, the result of something. Um, I, I see you waiting for something. Okay, there's the world. I see you waiting for something, but I feel like if it's tied to a decision, that decision has not been made. So let's look at your person over here. Tell me about the Two of Wands, Two of Swords. What's this decision about here, Spirit? With the Two of Wands, Two of Swords. Why is the Two of Wands, Two of Swords here? Eight of Swords. Yeah, this is all this is all tied together. Your person seems to be stuck or unable to make a decision or too fearful to make a decision. Tell me about the Two of Wands and the Two of Swords. Yep, Four of Cups. This person is very, um, they're resistant and checked out, not interested, um, maybe depressed even. Justice, they're Libra energy. Three of Cups at the bottom of the deck. I don't know if there's a third party that got in the way here after your separation or caused the separation. Um, this could also be a reunion, a coming together with Justice and the Three of cups this is definitely united cooperation and harmony so perhaps this person they have a choice to make to resolve the issue between you but they haven't made it whether that decision is to come forward or leave a third party or communicate the truth about something whatever the decision is tied to it hasn't been made and it's possibly due to fear there's the Knight of Pentacles, okay. So let's see about this Knight of Pentacles reverse. Why is the Knight of Pentacles reverse? Why is the Knight of Pentacles reverse? Ten of Swords. Okay, so maybe they've gone through a difficult ending or a difficult ending needs to happen. What's this about? Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles reverse. Ten of Wands, Page of Swords. Two of Pentacles. Well, the Ten of Swords, Ten of Wands, this is like letting go of a burden, ending something for good. Something difficult was finally put to rest or dealt with, ended, the cycle ended. Um, Page of Swords, communication about this, possibly. Maybe they're doing research, talking about this, but not really delivering. If this person has told you about this ending or the problems that they've had, um, maybe they've told you, hey, it's gonna be really, it's gonna take me some time with the Knight of Pentacles reverse to really go after an opportunity to really make something happen. There's a lot of obstacles in the way. Then, you know, I hope they're being honest with you about that. Let's get some Oracle cards out here. Spirit, give me some insight into the energies between Aquarius, and this other person. Tell me about Aquarius. 
I have some insight on Aquarius. Judication, waiting for a decision. Tell me about the person that Aquarius is has or will be dealing with. Privileged lady and concern at the bottom of the deck. You've been waiting for this person to do something. Um, I think you're waiting for them to be free, independent, secure on their own. Maybe you're waiting for them to be single. I also get the sense with privileged lady that maybe you are too good for this person or they feel you are too good for them. Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more. I want to see you. You're always on my mind. I want to see you and I have changed. You're always on my mind. I want to see you. I have changed. Well, I don't see, I don't think you've been together for some time. And perhaps you're thinking about each other. Now the I have changed energy, I'm not sure if that's coming from you or from them. Because if they have changed, then why is, why the waiting? Why the, the going back and forth about a decision? Why the indecision, right? Tell me about Aquarius. Tell me about Aquarius. The energies that they're bringing to this connection. Tell me about Aquarius. The elk. Tell me about the person Aquarius is dealing with. Hmm. Tell me about the person Aquarius is dealing with. I think I saw the butterfly. B. Busy B. Democratic. And then the oyster yeah this person is held up somewhere I don't know if they've been honest with you about the decision that they are going to make or maybe they've told you they're going to make a decision I don't see them doing that right now I mean that could change in the future it's just not showing up in the cards this person could have gone through some sort of difficulty or maybe they want to talk about the difficulties that you had with each other but when it comes time to actually make decisions here, I don't see them doing that. Despite the fact that this decision is what would bring balance to this connection, it's the right thing to do with justice here. And I feel like you've been waiting for this. You've been waiting for justice. You've been waiting for this rebalance and it just hasn't happened. Tell me about the Six of Wands. Tell me about the Six of Wands. Why is the Six of Wands here? Yeah, the Nine of Cups and the Nine of Wands. I feel like you've been waiting for your wish to be granted. And for whatever reason, this person has not delivered Aquarius. I'm not sure if you understand why there's a hold up. I'm not, maybe they've communicated this to you. Maybe you don't really truly understand. You just want clarity. You deserve to know at least that much. I don't know if this person is in a third party situation. If they are and they, you know, have told you that they're leaving with the chariot, the emperor, the ten of pentacles here, the eight of swords. I just don't see them doing that. I see them waiting. Three of wands. When really they should be a page of wands, ace of wands. It's almost like a, a new beginning that just can't get off the ground and it's affecting this connection so i'm going to see where all of this is headed in the extended i'm curious to know um what will it take to get justice that's probably going to be my uh, one of the cards that i kind of separate here to find out a little bit more um i'm also going to just ask spirit generally what can you expect next in this connection um what will affect this connection in the near future